hello and welcome guys hope you are doing well so in this video today we will be discussing around the cron job okay so whenever you are dealing with model so report will not be reflected everywhere in a real time so it handle basically by the scheduler so to make your job done you will have to enable here the cron so by default it remains available only through command line you can see here okay but now you can also enable this through direct url by setting up your password in case you want otherwise you can keep this as open okay so now coming to how you can set up this cron job from your uh, hosting panel that is hosting hostinger so for doing this you will have to search here on the top cron okay so after here you will find the first option advanced cron job so either you can go through that or you can manually search go here if i come here under manage okay then i will go to advance then i will find here crone okay you can search here for crone crone jobs so either you can set your custom crone job in case you have any or you can simply set up your php here okay here it will take you this uri so whenever you put here you will have to put the complete path of your code folder and this file okay so this file basically will come under this you'll have till that here you will have your code directory then under admin you will have chrome.php so this is your actual file okay so if in my case this is my code directory of Moodle code i will be pasting here Okay, but in case this is coming then under domain we'll have to test everything here now under this there will be admin directory then there is a chrome.php now what is ideal time to this cron job so let's search for that ideal time interval for model crone job so what Moodle say Moodle crone service location and timing the low the load of Moodle crone process on the Moodle server is not very high so five minutes is usually reasonable however if you are worried about the performance of your server you can increase to like 15 minutes each 15 minutes is 30 minutes each one hour is six hour per six hour per day so you can set up ads for your business need okay so uh, the recommended one is five minutes if the load is not much okay so here you want to say you'll have to pass here the parameter like okay so you can see here once an hour twice an hour you can also search from here either you can search from here okay or simply you can also here i want every five minutes then i will pick this one okay if you want every minute you will have to select this every two minutes you will have to select this every five minutes you will have to pick this one so this is how you can set up your model okay so i just save here okay so every five minutes i will also have to pass my this okay month is a parameter every month so every hour so basically whenever you set this uh, at zero it call only at zero hours i will have to set here every hours every day yes it is on top every month and every weekdays so this is how your parameter will be that means the parameter will be 
फाइव स्ट्रिक 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 ओके सो यू हैव टू क्लिक ऑन सेव सो दिस इज योर सर्वर रिस्पॉन्स सर्वर टाइम मंडे दिस क्रोन रन फाउंड क्रोन एग्जीक्यूशन कंप्लीटेड करेक्टली क्रोन कंप्लीटेड दिस सो दिस इज हाउ यू विल फाइंड एंड नाउ यू कैन सी इट इज वर्किंग फाइन सो यू आर डन विथ दिस आई वॉज एक्सपेक्टिंग फाइव मिनट्स एवरी फाइव मिनट इट विल बी एग्जीक्यूटेड ओके so activity log set up your cron job now you can validate uh, the changes under your site and it should be appearing all well so hopefully you will find this video useful and it will be helping you to set up your cron for your modal instance thank you thank you for watching and have a great day